Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app demo for Team Time Tracker by Moshi Apps. This application is in the business category, is iOS Universal, working on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, and currently sells for only $4.99. This is a slick, easy to use project management tool for the professional or layperson that captures time and expense information and much more. Very much focused on a team and group environment, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Right here on the far left, you have your timers, and you can see the other navigation, entries, clients, staff, and tools will work from left to right. Here are the timer areas where you're going to start tracking your time. I can tap on quick timer. Hey, I get a phone call. Uh, it's from a client, and they want to start asking me questions or something. It was unexpected, and I want to make sure it gets, you know, tacked to the project so that we get paid for the work and or the client gets billed correctly. Now you can put in your project name, task name, staff, and you can see all this information. Now project name, again, if you don't have a new pro if you don't have the project in here, you can search if there are more projects. I added one, so we could just add the project I had, but if we didn't, we could add a new project by tapping on the plus sign. You can go through the different fields here and add the new project. Maybe they called with the new project. Cancel out of there and we'll head back to QuickTimer 3. Again, task name, you can go down to the task, you can even go down to the staff member as well as renaming the timer to whatever you want to rename it. Just tap there and type in what you want. Now, once the timer's done, I'm going to show you, I'm going to save that. Once the timer is done, we'll go down here to timer 2 under a created timer, which was done with the plus sign in the upper right. This is more along the lines of you have a task for a project, and you know you've got to do it, and you're going to start the timer when you do it. It's more relaxed. It's scheduled. You know what's going on. Now, you can go ahead and start that, tap there, tap off, and so on, and Let's back out of here for a moment. So we'll go into this one that I started a little over 12 minutes ago, almost 13 minutes ago. Once I'm done with that, I create a time entry. Once I create the time entry, I can clear it, create and delete, create and clear, create and do nothing. I'm going to go ahead and create and clear. And now it goes in as a new time entry. Now all the time entries are searchable and can be um, filtered and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And under here under the time entry you're going to have all of the information, general info, time tracking, um, total amounts, it gives you the total amount for the time that you just created the time entry for, payable taxable reported paid, reference number, and you can tap into a lot of these and again add project names, add task names, add staff members again. These are the two people who are working on it, but if we had to add one we could do so and in adding staff you can simply tap on the plus sign and copy from contacts. Very, very easy to do. Very simple. Tap from your contracts, contacts and information goes in. You'll have to adjust some of them like default rate and so on. But that's how you would add a new staff member. And we will cancel out of there and head back to our time entry, which was converted from a timer, remember. So we're going to save that. Now that's saved. You can see the timer's been stopped. I still have a couple of others going. Quick timer again for when you want to start a timer for something that was unexpected so you build a customer correctly and get paid for your work. And then the plus sign just to add a timer. Now entries are where your timers are going to end up after you finish them. And you can see I've got the couple that I just I just added one of them in there. And I have them filtered right now by time, but I can have them filtered by both time and expense. And then I can also further tap on the calendar and have the calendar view as well as the list below. They have the icon to distinguish between a time entry and an expense entry. To simply add in this entry tab, go up to the top create a new time entry or an expense entry. In the expense entry, again, very basic time, you know, title, date, amount, price, purpose. Um, a cool thing in here is you can actually tap on receipts and when you want to add a new receipt, you can add a photo receipt from your library or camera. So it's a great way to save some, um, you know, tangible proof that you went out and purchased something such as a receipt. Cancel out of there. We will say yes. And that is your entries. Again, tapping here to add a time entry is going to be a new time entry, which will go in. But again, those can be managed from the actual timers over here and converted to time entries. But again, you can do it here in the calendar. And you can also just tap on a day 
and add those entries on that day. Very, very neat. Now here's some organizational part of this application. Again, you can add clients and staff from different areas, but here's where you can manage them as a whole. Under clients, you can tap over here and you can add not only clients, but tasks and projects. And then over here under staff, Again, you can add staff by tapping on the plus sign, copying from contacts, or manually entering. Now let's go back to entries just for a moment because I did gloss over something. Let's put this back into list mode. And down here you can see some filtering. You can filter both time and expenses, but there's more. Those are just the filters for the time and the expenses, the main entries. Tap on filter here, and you can filter in a whole another way. Day yesterday, week, last week, this month, last month, client type, project name, staff member, task name. So you can really filter down and get an idea of what the project is running at. And when you're done, you filter it out and you're gonna get whatever you put. So there's no expenses for that, but I've got time for that. And I can see my time there totals it up and gives it to me in total time as well as a grand total of how much I, they have spent. So I can really keep a client updated as well as keep track of what I am spending or what I am charging a client by my team member, staff, and project or task. Very, very, very nice. Tap over here. And in the settings area, we have a whole bunch. Let's go back over here. This is the main settings area. You have general, report, and export, and help, as well as community. The main part of this that I really want you to see is the report and export. Send reports by email, PDF, and CSV. And you can go through here and see. You can export data, time and expenses, and you can do those separately together however you want. Cancel out of there back out of there. You can also export to QuickBooks, same data. So if you use QuickBooks, books rather, this is already set up for you very easily to export your data. There are some settings in here. Again, different things you can change and there are in the app purchase. If you want to upgrade this to have more than five staff members in the app, you can actually do that for $4.99 and manage unlimited staff members. But currently, in the $4.99 model, you'll get five staff members and unlimited projects and tasks. There's some other information here in FAQ, which is very good, a quick start. And one of my favorite is request a feature. Tap there, pull up an email, tell them you want Dropbox integration or you want this to sync to the cloud and so on so that if I change it in my iPhone, it'll reflect in my iPad. What have you. If you want to do that, you can send that to them. Cancel out. That's it for this iPhone app demo. It's a great way to track your expenses for your freelancing work or your business for both group, single person, or teams. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike saying see ya.